Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome to Nmap for Beginners. So this is going to be a continuation in the ethical hacking course. Now, what is Nmap? Well, basically Nmap is a footprinting tool or a reconnaissance tool. Now, uh, I had already explained this in the first class, uh, the first ethical hacking class. Uh, this is basically the first step of uh, hacking where you actually find information about the target or the IP or the website. So basically Nmap is a footprinting tool that gets more information about the um, the target or the IP or the website for that matter. In my opinion, I think Nmap is a must-have for any pen testers or ethical hackers or hackers for that matter. So uh, basically uh, Nmap uh, is available on almost all the platforms. All you have to do is just go to the website. I'm just going to open Nmap here. Uh, it's nmap.org. That's their website. It's a free, free software. So you can go and download it. Uh, as you can see here, it's there available for Linux, uh, Windows, and I believe Mac OS. So if you're actually on Mac, uh, if you're actually on Mac, I believe it's there. So, uh, you can actually install it on, uh, Linux and Windows because of the most popular operating systems. However, if you're using Kali Linux or Parrot OS like I am, it already comes pre-installed. So the two ways you can go about launching it on Windows, I think you just have to run the nmap command in the command prompt. Uh, same as with Linux, but if you're actually running a um, a penetration uh, testing distro like Parrot OS or Linux, uh, or Kali Linux, uh, it's just in the information gathering section, which is basically recon reconnaissance. So we have nmap right here, and all you have to do is open nmap. And uh, it's going to ask you for your root password because it's going to need elevated uh, privileges. So that's one way of uh, of starting Nmap. Now, the second way of starting Nmap is just by opening a terminal, uh, entering your root password uh, or launching it in administrator mode uh, on Windows. And you just want to enter your password. And then I'm just going to clear the console uh, like so. And I'm just going to enter Nmap and I'm going to enter the help. Um, help option, which will basically give me all the options available with Nmap. Now, it's going to look a bit overwhelming because it's going to give you a lot of lot of uh, options. You can just look at this as a manual. Basically, they're giving you the different options that you can use for your different uh, methods of scanning. So just don't worry about anything. Just scroll down all the way to the bottom and look at where it says examples. I'm going to use these examples to guide you um, to guide you in your uh, uh, in this tutorial. So uh, firstly, uh, I want to just say something. Nmap is a very, very, very noisy scanner. Now, the reason what I mean by this is Nmap is easily detectable by firewalls and uh, by servers. So they actually know that you're scanning them. So the real charm of using Nmap is not just scanning a, a server or a site or an IP address uh, for that matter. It's how to do it anonymously or uh, very quietly so that you're not detected. I'm going to get to that uh, very, very soon. So uh, just make sure that you don't do anything illegal. Uh, I mean, this is only for educational purposes. So, uh, yeah, so let's get to the next part. All right. Now, uh, as I was saying, in the example section, uh, it's just going to give you an example of what a, um, a basic Nmap uh, run would look like. You have your nmap command, which initializes nmap, and then you have your uh, parameters that will bring results uh, depending on what you want out of those results. So you have your v and a. Now, before we get to that, nmap basically gives you a free testing uh, uh, scanning machine where they allow you to scan their this scanme.nmap.org, this web address uh, for educational purposes. So as you can see here, Hello, welcome to scanme.nmap.org. Don't worry, the website will be in the description section if you're too lazy to type that out. Uh, so as you can see, we set up this machine to help folks learn about Nmap and also to test and make sure that the Nmap installation or internet connection is working properly. You're authorized to scan this machine with Nmap or the port scanners. Try not to hammer uh, on the server too hard. A few scans in a day is fine, but do not scan 100 times a day or use this site to test your SSH brute force password cracking tool. So basically, they're allow they allowing you, they're giving you permission to scan this, which is what I was going to say. You need written permission to scan any IP address, any uh, any website or any server for uh, 
whatever you do, uh, it's on you. That's what I wanted to just put out. So we're going to use this as an example during uh, the the Nmap tutorials. So coming back here, as you can see, they've given you an example scan with the scanme.nmap.org uh, address. So what does V mean? Well, V basically prints the version number or the name of the uh, of these of the server, uh, uh, basically the address name. All right. Now uh, the A basically prints the uh, OS detection the version detection and script scanning. So it'll basically give you the operating system uh, the version, the operating system itself, and this it'll scan for scripts, all right? Now, if we go down to the second one, we have a bit of a different uh, command here. Just ignore the SN for now. I will get to that in a future tutorial. Uh, now, we, as you can see here, there's something a bit confusing. We have a very weird looking IP uh, configuration. Well. This is not really unusual. In fact, what this means is this is a range of IP addresses. Now, don't be confused by this. What this means uh, is basically you can pass a range of IP addresses, like from this IP address to this IP address, you want Nmap to scan that. They could be belonging to an organization, so you can basically do a very powerful Nmap scan on like multiple IP addresses. Now, uh, before we move on, I just want to show you an example of what I mean. So what you want to do is open a browser and I just want you to search for this. All right. I want you to search for major IP block, right? That's the one I want you to search for major IP block with, with uh, whichever uh, search engine and it's going to open the major IP address blocks. Just click on that by near soft. Now what this means is basically these are the IP ranges in every country all around the world. So these are all the IP addresses registered to people or to companies. So you can choose from whatever country that you want to scan from. Uh, really anything, it's up to you. Right, so we can just try France. Uh, let's just try France, uh, for example. And it'll give you all the IPs and their ranges. So as you can see from this IP to this IP belongs to Orange uh, SA. And it has the assigned date and the total amount of IP addresses. Now, this comes to the very important part I wanted to explain about reconnaissance here. Uh, if you have an IP address, you can really do a lot with it. And you can actually find a lot of information related to that IP address, which is what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm just going to pick a random IP address. Uh, let's try. Um, let's try this one here. All right, I'm just going to copy it. No, it's not allowing me to copy it. There we are copying. And I'm just going to search uh, for this is a very important command. This will basically give us uh, the info about wh who this IP belongs to. Who is. Alright, so we're going to say who is and we're going to paste that there and we're going to enter. And it's going to open in a search engine who the IP address belongs to. So we're, we're just going to open the first uh, site that we get here. So just open it and it shouldn't take too long and it's going to give you the um, it's going to give you all the information about it. So it's going to tell you uh, the country I saw, the time zone, Europe, Paris. So you know it's in Paris. It also has the longitude and latitude um, coordinates. So you can actually get uh, the uh, location. Uh, however, with the, with the IP range addresses, what they do, the, uh, the basically the providers, the internet providers, is they basically assign it to a location and no more. They don't have like a specific address. So uh, usually the location is about 90% accurate. I will get to geo -like location in the future. That's a bit of an advanced tutorial. Uh, but basically you can get information about an IP using the who is uh, um, the command. Which brings me to the second part of what I wanted to say about the who is and IP addresses. The search engines are your best, best, best friend when it comes to uh, looking or when it comes to reconnaissance or footprinting. You can really, really use them to advantage. And as you can see, it's given me the range here on this website and it will give you the location and the longitude and latitude and geolocation and so on and so forth. So you get the idea. Don't worry, the websites that I've used here will be linked in the description. All right, so let's just head over back to Nmap, all right? Um, one more command I wanted to show you that's really not linked to Nmap, but is also important for uh, scanning or reconnaissance is the NSLOOKUP. All right. So NSLOOKUP 
is available on Windows. You don't need to install it. It's just part of the operating system as it is on Linux. Uh, you hit NSLOOKUP and then you enter the, um, the target. It can be an IP address or a web, uh, or a website. So I'm going to copy this site, the ScanMe site, because again, I want to keep this as legal as possible. And I'm just going to hit enter. All right. And it's going to give me the address. So as you can see, this allows you to actually get the address of the website and you can do it and vice versa. So if I, if I, uh, copied this, all right. And I said here, NS lookup and I pasted the, uh, the address there. Hopefully it will give me the name of the site. All right. And as you can see here, the name is canme.nmap.org. All right. Pretty awesome, right? Now, um, if I just want to give you a quick tip with NS lookup, uh, let's say you're running a lot of, uh, scans and you want to save them to a document or a, to a file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to save them on the desktop, right? So I'm going to hit NS lookup and uh, we're going to, let's say we want to find the name of the, of this uh, IP address. We want to find what, who it's registered to. And then what you want to do is um, you just want to use the two greater than signs and you want to give a name to a document that you want to save it to. In this case, I'm going to use a TXT document and I'm going to save it on my desktop because that's where I opened the terminal from. Although you could change it to whatever uh, directory you're in. So I'm going to say results dot txt and I'm going to hit enter and it's going to open a results dot txt as you can see over here. And if I open it, it'll give me the scan results. Pretty awesome. And you can keep on saving them in here and it's just going to do it for you automatically. So uh, this is uh, basically what I wanted to explain to you for the first tutorial. Uh, there's a lot I've said in this tutorial and I just wanted all of that to sink in. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go through the advanced nmap commands. But uh, that's basically what I wanted to t tell you uh, today. Um, basically, what we've gone through, in to summarize, is we've gone through what nmap is, um, the nmap help commands, the, what the nmap, um, the nmap, uh, what, what do they call the parameters mean? Uh, when I was talking about these parameters right here, the V and the A, and there's a lot of them here, which I'll go get, uh, to in a, in another video, uh, right after this one. I just want you guys to practice what I've shown you in this video and just practice a bit of reconnaissance and, uh, yeah, you'll get it. You'll find it really, really interesting to see how much information you can dig up from a lot of thing, a lot of these servers and IP addresses. So that's been it guys. I hope this video helped you and you enjoyed it. Uh, if you, if it did help you, please leave a like. If it didn't help you, you can dislike the video and let me know why in the comment section. Alternatively, if you have any question, hit me up in the comment section, social media and or kick. Uh, I'm always there and I'm ready to help you guys. Otherwise, uh, we're going to continue uh, the advanced stuff in the next video. Thanks for watching so much and have a fantastic day. Peace.